Hey guys, Exodus Gear here, and we're going to be starting off the weekly Bitcoin news with Ecuador once again. They are still, of course, in the process of trying to ban Bitcoin and trying to make their own currency. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work out for them, but it is something that should be kept an eye on. Just because it could affect Bitcoin. You never know what it's going to do. But quickly moving on to Argentina. Argentina recently, for some of you who use the exchange of sounder, Unison, their exchange was actually blocked out by their bank. Apparently down there, as long as their bank gives a 10-day notice that they're going to cancel the account, then it's perfectly legal. Now the Unison, I guess, rep, or maybe their lead programmer, their lead designer, has stated that they are already working on trying to find a different bank to take their payments and continue business. So that's a good thing. Just keep an eye on that to see how it goes. Another good thing in... Argentina is Avalancha or Avalanche, which is basically a electronic slash uh, consumer store. So now that people down there have Bitcoin, they can easily buy their electronics down there. So no more having to buy from Tiger Direct or from eBay and having to wait or anything like that. Delays are a lot less. And of course, you can use Bitcoin to pay for your items. So that's always a really positive thing. For those of you who hadn't heard beforehand, Overstock.com has been accepting Bitcoin for a while. Even if you look at their commercials now, whenever they end, it actually says at the bottom or towards the lower right-hand corner that they accept Bitcoin in payments. So why are they up here again? Well, they've actually decided to do something kind of neat. They are going to pay their employees their bonuses in Bitcoin. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's if the employee wants their bonus in Bitcoin, but that's still a really neat option to give your employees is, is the option for Bitcoin or to receive your payments in Bitcoin. It's another step forward. They've, of course, been doing really good with their business, bringing in tons of revenue from Bitcoin itself. So that's really, really good. Another positive light. But of course, with the positive, there is always a little bit of negative. For those who hadn't heard, Dell recently found out that for about a month or two, Somebody had actually been hijacking a high amount of traffic and redirecting it. And basically what they were doing is they were hijacking the traffic and using it to more or less mine their own stuff. So while users had their miners going for like weeks or whatever else, they weren't paying attention to it. And this person was coming on here. And even though it was only a like 30 second hijacking, if I'm not mistaken, their estimates for the profit made by this person was roughly around $9,000 a day. So that's that's a heavy amount of money that was more or less, um, again, hijacked. And Bitcoin was taken out of other people's pockets while, of course, their machinery was doing the mining. And, of course, they get stuck with the power cause. Now, how far into the investigation as to who might it be or whatever else, no clue as of yet. Hopefully, Dell will look into that and see what happens. But let's go and keep moving on with this. Zappo is also a little bit in, in the fire, I suppose. Uh, they've had some issues with some community backlash due to their new fee system. If I'm not mistaken from what I've read, it seems to be a thing of miscommunication. Uh, some users believe that the Zappo was going to be doing a flat $15 fee, if I'm not mistaken, for the card. But then they went to Head and of course introduced all these different tack on fees that could be, you know, inserted at any point. I don't know how well it's going to work out, and I'm personally not a Zappo user. And I can understand why some of the consumers might be angry with this if they did receive, you know, any kind of information from the Zappo representative stating that it would be at that fee. But at the same time, I kind of understand that if it is a brand new Bitcoin business, they do kind of need that revenue to survive. You can't necessarily ex expect to have a one-time fee at the very beginning and that be the end of it. You know, they might incur more charges just because they may need more servers. They may need more security, different things like that. So that's something that I, I believe the community should look into as well and definitely try to be understanding about it. Uh, again, I'm not in any way towards the community or towards Zappo. I feel like they will both eventually reach a healthy medium. Uh, what that medium might be, don't know yet, but I do believe that it is something that they can reach together. But 
after all this bad news, let's go and end it with some good. Change tip, for some of you who haven't heard what change tip is, I want to say it's more or less Bitcoin's answer to Redcoin. Redcoin has been promoting itself as the social media cryptocurrency, and they've done a really good job of it. I know that uh, within the last week, they went into proof-of-stake velocity. So Bitcoin, I want to say, is actually trying to catch up to them now. But this is actually a really good step. I have already used it a few times. I've gotten a, a few donations from people for coffee, and I've actually sent out a few donations to other programmers for coffee. So it's really, really neat. You only use microtransactions, of course. It's very simple. Once you go on here and sign up, you can link your Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever else. And people can send you a little bit of Bitcoin or a lot of Bitcoin if they want, of course. Um, and you just transfer it back to your account. That's it. Very simple. Again, it's uh, very much like the Redcoin tipping service where you can go on any of those social sites and start getting a tip. Let me actually see if I can bring up my account real quick. Okay, so here you go. You can actually see that I've already started sending out tips and I've already received a few tips. Uh, so if anybody wants to sign up for this, I think it would be really good, especially if you're running a channel. You can definitely get tips from some of your users or, you know, your Twitter feed. If you want to send out some good information, somebody feels like you've given them a really good um, online tip, like a verbal tip or a writing tip, not a change tip, then they might actually send you, of course, some Bitcoin, stuff like that. But that's really about it, guys. Again, if you sign up for Change Tip, if you'd like to, feel free to send some Bitcoin for some coffee or maybe some hot cocoa. It'd be very tasty for me. And enjoy. <laughs>